Hey, Crafty friends. Happy Monday. It's Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What's New Today at the Doodlebug. So in kind of the past couple months, um, we've been doing some bonus what's news on what's news on Mondays, uh, which is normally a day I'm not in the store, but this week is retreat week. Whew. All right. Which means I've got a tons of things to get done. I've got to finish up um, getting goodie bags ready and all my forms ready um, uh, making sure the caterers are good to go, just talked to Subway, got our Subways all ready for on Saturday. So, so much going on this week that I am working today so that, bless her heart, thank you, Linda can fill in for me Thursday open to close, Friday open to close, and Saturday open to close. I'm going to owe that girl like a massage certificate or something after this weekend. Um, so she is like pulling double duty for me later on this week so I can be at the retreat with all my crafty friends. Um, so I am working today. And what have I got for you? Well, on Friday, before Linda even left, she, I know, poor Linda. She's she's amazing, though. I, I I do thank God every day for her. I wake up in the morning, and you know how you're supposed to, you know, you know, say your prayers and what you're thankful for. And she is definitely on that list, like every single day, even on Sundays when I'm off. So, um, but she did make sure that she got spellbinders checked in on Friday for you guys, just so I could show you today, because she knew. I would be crazy busy. So I have spellbinders ready to go. And then, um, because that was it, I actually, um, no, I didn't get a hair, but I roll, I curled it different. I did my flat iron, you know, like you do your flat iron and normally you do spirals. Well, sometimes I do just up and down and up and down and, and it's my, it's my beachy wave. So for my California girl, this is my beachy wave look. So yes. Um, but I did open the box for Pink and Main because we got Pink and Main in here. It's not checked in yet, so it's not going to be on the site, but I've got it here for you on the live, and then we'll, we'll get that all taken care of tomorrow. But you guys can shop it in the live. I just, I just opened the box and put on the tables. Most of it is reorder. So it's stuff you have seen. Um, but there are a couple things that I have not gotten in before or not for a really long time. So I'm gonna flip the cameras around. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with Spellbinders first. So Spellbinders, I do have some good new stuff in Spellbinders as well. Got a few restocks though. So we're gonna start with our 3D embossing folders. This one here is called Fresh Picked Floral. So it gives you this really nice frame. Now, do keep in mind, these are really big embossing folders. So whenever you go to emboss it, if you're doing your A2 card, I'm going to bring this down here and I'm going to grab an A2 card. So for my A2 card, I would just kind of put it in like that. Okay. Yeah. You're not going to get all of this, but here's the beauty of an A2 card. I can also put it in this way. So I'm going to have that beautiful embossed area or going the other way, have that beautiful embossed area, or you could kind of line it up right in the middle. I, Cause I had one gal in here one day and she was just like, well, I won't be able to use the whole thing on my A2s. So no, you really, you don't get the whole full effect unless you do that nicer, bigger size card. But you can still, here, that's a little distracting. You can still get a lot of the good stuff. I'm trying to get the glare out too with just your A2. But again, be creative, you know, move it around, do some of the different, you know, different portions on there as well. So even these framed ones look great as A2s. Next one I've got here for you is Beautiful Butterflies. So that's been a really pretty one, I think. All right, so there's those two. Then we've restocked our better press machines. Actually, I think um, one of my one of the Stacys. We've got a couple different Stacys that help around here at the store with crops and and samples. One of the Stacys is going to demo better press machines um, this weekend. Oh, and then she just popped on the live, so she's going to be demoing. I think better press this weekend at the retreat. Next one we've got for better press. This one is called Sending Joy Sentiments. So you've got your better press plates and then the dies that go with it. 
another better press one. This one is called Mistletoe Greetings. This one has been a huge, huge big seller. One thing to really keep in mind is even if you don't have a better press machine, but you've got a glimmer, you can use any of these better press plates in your glimmer. So this one for me, I, I mean, I have both machines. Um, I actually have done more with my glimmer with this one than my better press because whenever I run this through my glimmer, all those sentiments are foiled then. They look great better press, but they look so much better foiled. So you've got things like a little gift for you, special delivery, happy Christmas, sending you joy, jingle all the way. So you've got all these great sentiments and then the dies to perfectly cut them out. And then you can just kind of have a little stash, which makes it nice. Next, so Spellbinders, as you know, they have been delving in some different markets. Um, they've done tools for a really long time, though. Um, they've got, you know, at this point, they've got punches, tremors, scissors, tweezers, all kinds of great stuff. And then they just added a scoring board. Um, and actually, we were out of scoring boards here in the store. So I thought, why not bring theirs in and try their scoring board? So you can see down here, you've got... Um, You've got a little score, like a little bone folder, and you've got a nice little diagonal guy as well, okay? So you've got a nice little triangular ruler. That helps you kind of with angles and things like that, and also gives you some great little information here for doing gift boxes as well. On the back, it's got envelopes and envelope boxes. So all kinds of great stuff here. It's even going to show you where you want to, um, and now you can use this as a template for where you want to punch out your corners, or you can just do a little um, hand punch that does the notches as well. So all kinds of great little add-ons with their scoring board. Let me see if we've got that one price. I know someone's going to ask. It is 25 bucks is the price on that one. And you can see it's got all kinds of great little step-by-steps and how-tos on the back as well. And then it even talks about the little notch punch. And I believe we have those in stock. If not, we can add them onto our next order as well. And then that will take those little corners out for you. So scoring board. Next up, this is a brand new series from Spellbinders. This is part of Simon Hurley's, one of his new lines. And this one here is called Classic Christmas Tree. I picked this one so far out of the line because it's really pretty. So check out how it layers up. You've got all these great layers there. Oh, Stacy's saying those little notch um, punches are lifesavers. They really are because it saves you with trying to fussy cut it, keep it, you know, consistent, and it just it looks more professional and detailed. So you can see the great little layers that you've got in there for your tree. So you can do your, I'm going to show you here again. So this is what you're going to see in brown on the front, and then these are cut out in the lighter color and layered up. So the background... Let me do it this way. So the dark green is this one here. And then you can see the brown in there. That's this layer here. And then these pieces here layered on are the lighter green right there. And then you've got all your fun little ornaments. You've got um, presents you can put underneath the tree. And the little tree skirt as well. So this one here is called Classic Christmas Tree. Then we have got Woodland Tales. This is brand new from them. So this is a new fall line they just released. And I, I think the 12 by 12 paper is gorgeous. Actually, um, we didn't show this on Friday, but it went on the website. So we actually had a few orders for this already. So the paper is absolutely stunning. This is foiled. This is foiled as well. Love that little fox on there. Somebody was just asking, asking about foxes last week. This one is foiled. This one is foiled. And then I think we repeat. Yeah, then they repeat. So this one, oops, went too far. This 12 by 12, again, is called Woodland Tales. 
That is part of their um, new line they just released. Next up, I'm gonna show you for Woodland Tales, the vellum pack. It is stunning. Um, it's vellum, oh, a vellum and foiled acetate is what it's called. So we've got vellum. <laughs> Look at this one. Vellum. Vellum. Foiled acetate. Foiled acetate. Foiled acetate. Beautiful papers. And then just a background so you can kind of see it in the package. So again, that is the Woodland Tales printed vellum and foiled acetate. Next, we've got the six by six. Now the six by six um, is just a shrunk down version and it does have the foiling as well. Look how pretty these are in the six by six as well. So that's the six by six pad for the Woodland Tales. And then we've also got, um, there's two different die cuts. We've got die cut sentiments and die cut shapes. So please tell me the difference between the two whenever you order these. Here are the sentiments. So again, they're gonna be extra great Oh, that one's got a little oopsie mark. I may have to tell them that. This one's going to be extra great for your cards. But they would also work for mini books, things like that, because you've got memories, family. What is that one? Moment. Oh, hello there. So you've got some great little pieces that could also easily, easily be used. Oh, love you to the moon and back. That is so good that you can easily use these in your scrapbooks, but definitely even better for your card making. Then for the die cut shapes, these are definitely gonna work both ways. They are foiled as well. So you've got all these great little shapes in here. Hey, do not eat rubber bands. Hey, quit. Oh my gosh, she's like a child. Stop eating rubber bands. Every morning I have to come in now and I play the game. What did Cindy get into the night before? <laughs> and it's nothing bad, but there's rubber bands all over the store. We use twisty ties a lot to keep little orders together. Well, then there's twisty ties that we leave out. Well, then I find twisty ties on the floor. Oh, great for a wedding. Also, yes, these would be really good for, I mean, all kinds of stuff. They're just absolutely beautiful. So these are the Woodland Shapes die cut shapes. Sorry, Woodland Tales die cut shapes. I'm trying to read and talk and flip at the same time. There's those little moons in there, more little foxes. Ooh, look at the owl in there too. We've got bees, we've got mushrooms, all kinds of books, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, my cat, oh, she's horrible. Whenever we got, um, let me just said her cat wants to eat all the plastic. When we got in that, um, oh, that clear scraps order the other day, everything, I was trying to see if I could find them, everything was tied together with these little plastic strings. And, oh, of course, the next day she had them everywhere. She'd, she'd gotten, you know, she's a cat, so she'd gotten sick somewhere because she tried to eat them. I'm like, oh, good Lord, Cindy. All right, so new, new, new stuff there. And let's see, we've got, um, I know I saw Debbie wanted a, uh, nope, Diana wants the classic Christmas tree. You've got it. And then Sharon's gonna take the 12 by 12 paper and die cut sentiments, perfect. Got it, all right, your, oh, hair ties, rubber bands, yes. Now, hair ties I don't have here, but rubber bands, definitely. She's constantly in our rubber bands. All right, more from Spellbinders. This is brand new from them. This is called, this is part of their treasured card stock. This is the gold assortment pack. So you're gonna get five um, card stock styles, three of each. So you're getting 15 in here. We've got glitter metallic, matte metallic, brushed metallic, mirror and pearl. And all of those for $9.29. Is that not crazy? 
15 sheets for nine bucks. So that's the gold assortment pack of paper. Got those in. Next up, we have got for our wax seal section, um, this one here is special order. And then the other ones we had in sold out over the weekend. So we will get more in, but this is glow in the dark wax. How fun is that? So you've got a hundred little wax beads in here. All of these are glow in the dark. So, so fun, so fun. Miss Kim wants a gold assortment pack. You've got it, thank you, ma'am. Next we've got now we've got a roll of washi tape. <laughs> At least she keeps me entertained in here, let me tell you. Um, now we've got Christmas Blessings Sentiments. This is a stamp from Stamp Hendis. May the true spirit of Christmas fill your heart and home with warmth and joy throughout the year. Wishing you the gift of faith, the blessing of hope, and the peace of his love at Christmas and always. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praising and praises sing to to God the king and peace to all on earth. The cheer and goodwill of friends, the joy of a thousand angels. So all kinds of great little ones there. And again, this is called Christmas blessing sentiments. Another gold assortment pack. You've got it. That is for Miss Diana. And then Cindy wants a gold assortment pack. You've got it, Miss Cindy, thank you. Next, we are restocking our monster eyeballs. These are so fun on different little die cut shapes, but especially right now in October for all your little spooky fun stuff. These great little monster eyeballs. So those are back in stock. These are gonna be heading to our shaker section. We've been waiting on these to come in for a while. The last order um, they fell off of. And then the order before that, they sent me the wrong thing. So these are called spring florals. So all kinds of great ones in there, spring florals. This one here also goes with woodland tails. These are the gems to match it. So woodland tails gems, you've got this great gold flecking throughout all of them. You've got a brown, a cream, a pink, and a black, and all of them have great gold flecking in them. Um, those are just $4.29. Dang, that's actually a great deal because you know um, Prima does these. They're absolutely stunning and beautiful as well, but the price point's a little bit more than this. So definitely snag these, even if you're not getting the woodland tails, because this is going to match so many different lines. They're just good basic colors in there too. So that's the woodland tails gems. Kim wants some monster eyeballs. You've got it, friend. Now next, these are super fun. I am really excited about these. It is not anything new to the market, but what is really cool um, I'm actually going to walk up front with these. Um, they have done shaker domes to match some of their die sizes. Hi there. I'll be with you in just a minute, okay? Well, hey, Miss Linda. Welcome to the live. Hope you're enjoying your day off today. All right. So these match the different shapes that they have in stock. Shapes you probably already have at home. So this one is going to match their arches die. This one matches fresh picked. See, there's fresh picked. There's the little shaker dome that's gonna fit perfectly with that one. Um, and then we've also got emerald cut. And I've got emerald cut as well. So all kinds of, and I know that, I thought we had the arches. Um, so we've probably, I know we've had the arches for sure. Oh, there's the arches right there. There's our arches. Flip it to the side here. Do, do, do. So there's the arches right there. So these are going to match one of the dies in those packs, um, which I think it's great that they've added these to match dies that they already stock. So we've got arch, fresh picked, and emerald cut in so far. There are a few other ones that they just came out with, but I started with ones I knew that we either had in stock or we had sold quite a few of on those. All right, I'm going to check on this guy real quick. Hang, hang tight with me. I think, um, I think I want a set of art shaker domes, please. You've got it. I'm so sorry. I do a daily Facebook live and I just jumped on. Is there anything I can point you towards? I'm just here for boxes. You're here for boxes. Perfect. So they are up by my office up there. 
Yes, please grab. And the any of the ones, any boxes you don't want, just leave up there. Um, and if you want the packing, take the packing. If you don't want it, you can leave it on the floor, okay? You're welcome. Yay. As you guys know, we've got a ton of boxes up there. Whew. All right, so Stacy wants a pack of the arched shaker domes. Got those for you, Miss Stacy. Thank you. And Audrey is getting some woodland and 12 by 12, both ephemeris and two gems and a see-through paper. You've got it. The vellum and the acetate. I knew exactly what you meant. I have, I luckily speak brain fart because I um, live most my day in a brain fart cloud. So that's, that's where I, that's where I live. All right, for our little needle work section, these have been going so, so well because we've got all these beautiful samples that Miss Stacy put together and then Debbie gave us some as well too. So this is part of the Gathering Stitches line from this Nicole Spore. Now, Nicole has a brand new live coming out with Spellbinders as well. Um, I plan to do a walk through the new catalog probably next week after the retreat because I've just got so much going on. But she's, apparently she's some kind of influencer. Um, and and I, I don't know her. I'm not great with my influencers. Um, can I hold a scissors die? You've got it, my friend. Um, but I know she's got a brand new live coming, or brand new live, brand new line coming out as well. So I will definitely take you guys through that catalog here shortly. And then Miss Jennifer wants one of these, and I think one was special order. So I'm adding that to my pile there. Thank you, thank you. How many are in a pack? Um, you get six domes in a pack, Miss Stacy. Um, Libby, okay, so Libby's jumping on, and she's gonna she's gonna help us here. Nicole is super talented and sweet. We were on Hanging with Hero together last week, but there we go. So apparently she's, I probably would know her if I saw her. Um, I just don't maybe know the name offhand, but she's been doing some great stuff with um, with Spellbinders. She's got a great following as well, too. I do know that um, Spellbinders was talking about then, that in our Zoom call the other day. More things we're adding. Oh, that goes in the same section we were just at. So we were out of the spruce, apparently, or I just ordered extra. So there's that embroidered spruce. Oh, here we go. Embroidered spruce. There's that one. She's been around a while. I'm, I'm so bad. People ask me, oh, do you watch this person? I'm like, no, I, 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 I do my own show and I don't even have time for that. No, I shouldn't say it like that. I just, I, I don't, sadly. Um, I wish I had more time for that stuff. Maybe one of these days. I keep saying one of these days um, I, I will have time for things, but I don't get a chance to watch a lot of stuff. Like I love to watch Jennifer McGuire. I love to watch Gina Kay. I don't have time for them a lot of times. And so I just, it's, it makes me sad. I want to do all the things. Next one we've got, this is a restock. Glow in the dark wax beads. Yes, Paula, those are yours anyway. And one of the gold paper packs for Miss Jennifer, you've got it. But yes, Paula, these are yours. Um, then we've got stitched string lights. Now these are really, really pretty. And I, I don't think I have a sample over here of these. No, I don't. But um, these we did post a while back on our Facebook page and I posted an example of someone um, made the cutest card with these that wasn't even stitched. So you don't have to stitch these if you don't want to. Notice how that stitching is an insert part of the die. So that's restocked. This one here is also a restock, this ba great background cutting plate. So it's going to do the background and it's gonna give you all those great little snowflakes popping out as well. This one here is called Frozen Flurries. Then we restock, I need to just stay in this section over here. That's where all this stuff is coming from. This one here is shown on this beautiful two page spread that uh, Miss Debbie Meyer did for us as a display. And it uses this stitched petal bloom die, which is gorgeous. Now, again, you wouldn't even have to stitch. It gives you all this great piercing. Can you see that? Yeah. So it gives you all this great piercing. You wouldn't even have to do the stitching if you did not want to. 
and you would not even have to add in that layer if you didn't want to either. So this is a really multi-purpose die. It gives you lots of longevity and all kinds of diversity, different things that you can do with it. Lots of flexibility with this one. Um, you do get that little smile that she used right there in the set. And then she did all these fun little frames. Isn't this such a fun layout? And she's not a scrapbooker. Um, obviously she should be, um, but she used this fun little die set from Lawn Fawn called Say Cheese Again that gives you the two great little Polaroid frames and that little stitched heart that just pairs so beautifully with this die set. <laughs> that door's going to bang a lot. We had a lot of boxes up there. Oh my goodness. So that one is called Stitched Petal Bloom. Next, we've got this cutie patootie moose. This is Dancing Klondike. I'm moving around here again because Mr. Klondike, we've got some fun samples that Miss Stacy put together for us. And I feel like there's one more of Klondike. I think I took it up front the other day to show somebody. But Klondike is one that has the cute little dancing legs. Now you can just glue them down. You wouldn't have to make him dance. But we've got Klondike here. Show you these. So, so fun. So we've got Klondike here. Um, this one is with the pointed arches background. Now here's another one of Klondike. These do move too. Oh, I think I, I had somebody was asking me how this one got put together the other day. And so then I showed her and, you know, I kind of, kind of messed this one up a little bit. But this is a cutie patootie as well. And then this one, we added um, some sunglasses from a die set called um, Smart Glasses. So that's a cute, fun one with Klondike. And then also for our dancing figures section, this is the Nutcracker Fritz. So we've got Fritz back in stock as well. So that's another fun one that you can make dance or not dance. Again, you can glue them down nice and flat. So that's a good one there. Now, I know it says it's almost six and a half inches tall. Now, look at Klondike. Well, of course, you know, Moose is half long legs, but your nutcracker, you could bring those legs down a little bit if you so chose to. So he wouldn't quite have to be that tall if you did not want him to be. So that is all Spellbinders. Then next up, we're going to check out our Pink and Main. Now remember, this was mainly reorders. I did throw a couple new little things on there, but from our last order that we got in, this was everything that sold out right away in the live, and then we had uh, special orders, pre-orders for them. First one we've got here, these are part of their adhesive transfers, their Stickies collection. Now with the Stickies, I want to kind of sit down and show you this. So in here, what you are getting, um, these, you can run them through your foiling machine, just use it on pressure, no heat, but you don't even have to. So what this is, is it is just a, a sticky. It is just going to put down a sticker for you. And they are kind of like, um, well, they are exactly like a sticker rub-on. That's what these are. So you've got this, oh, you can't see it because it's on the black, but on the black there is this sticky, okay? So then you're going to cut out what you want. You're going to then put it where you want it, give it a rub, and then gently pull this back up. What's gonna be left behind is a clear sticky that says wishing you well. Then you're gonna come in with your glitter, you're gonna come in with your embossing powder. You're gonna come in with your flock. Get out your flock from, you know, it's probably been in your drawer forever. Or get out your foil. Then you're gonna put that right on top, give it a little rub, and then pull um, if you're doing the foil. If you're doing glitter, just burnish it a little bit. You're gonna end up with this beautiful wishing you well covered in whatever you put on it. Okay, so you don't even have to have a foiling machine to do the foils with these. Now, here's a little tip, and this is why crafters are hoarders or collectors, because once the sticky's gone, you have this great little acetate wishing you well printed in black. 
So you know I'm not going to throw away this sheet when I'm done. I'm now going to use it on something else because because that is what we do. We we find usefulness in everything, which is which is exhausting and amazing all at the same time. And Libby is saying pink and, pink and Maine has really cool flocks. Everything old is new again and fun. Yes, I'm, I think I did watch part of a Pink and Maine video the other day. And somebody, actually, Libby, I think it was yours. You were doing something somewhere with um, with snowflakes. So see, I, I don't get to watch many people. But every now and then I get to watch a little bit somewhere. Um, but I watched you do a background with the stickies. And they were snowflakes. And you put fun or the flock on them. I want to call it fun flock because I think that's what it was in the days of yore. We called it Fun Flock. So yes, it was me live on Pink and Main last Wednesday. See, I watched you, Libby. How? I, there you go. I, I don't know if that makes you still feel special or not, but I did watch you last Wednesday. So awesome. So we've got here, these are the circle sentiments. All that to just to get to that. Circle sentiments. Then we've got all kinds of great foils back in stock, and these are perfect for Christmas. So we've got the cheer foils here. This one is called Sparkle Green. Then we've got Sparkle Red and Sparkle Gold. And look how fun those three are together. So pretty. Then for the foils, we've also got Christmas Sentiments foils. These you can use as is. If you don't have a foiling machine, you're just going to have black and white foils. You can also ink blend on them as well. But these are going to be perfect with these foils ran through your mink. So those are super fun. Linda says she also likes to watch some of the pink and main videos. She watches Caitlin with hers. All right, restocks. So we restocked this one. This one is the layered scallops, the A2 um, rectangle. We're, we're going to call them rectangles because we've got a bunch of layered scallops that came back in. This is going to give you two different sizes of great little frames. It's going to give you two great stitch frames. It's going to give you this nice word high, and it's going to be, and you're also going to have friend and there and three different sizes of hearts. I'm going to show you this right here. So this is what this die makes. You're going to cut out this die twice in two different colors, and then you're going to just lay one one way and lay one the opposite way. And when you do that, okay, then you're going to see these great little scallops. I don't think I can peel these back to give you a better visual if you need a better visual. Let's see here. Okay, can you kind of see that there's a green solid layer in there? And then we've got this blue solid layer. So you're going to cut each one out twice, or once, sorry, each color out once, and then just... One goes this way, one goes that way, and then you've got all these fun little scallops all the way around. Now, pro tip, friends, what's on the inside? Either take one of your other dies, cut out that solid middle. Don't waste all that paper in there, or waste it. It's fine, um, you know, because I know we can't save everything, but a lot of times I will do other little die cuts out of the middles of those then as well. So again, this one is the A2 scalloped rectangles then we also restocked same concept but this is for mini slim lines also restocking the scallop circles the layering ones this one here is using the smaller of the two so you've got two different size circles, you've got two different stitch sizes here, and you've got this great little miss you and love you that comes with it as well. This one, friends, I have, I don't think I've had this one in before, or it's been a long time since I have. Look how fun this one is. This one is the scalloped squares. So you've got three different sizes of the scalloped squares on here three different sizes of the stitched squares. And then we've got little hello and for you as well. So now we've got all of our scalloped dies back in stock. 
This one here is a new one that we just got in. This one is called um, Christ Mouse or Christ Mouse. It's a fun little set there. Then we restocked our zigzag set. So this is zigzag rectangles. It also comes with two sentiments in there. Get well soon and sending cheer. Both of them come with a shadow as well. Restock on this little guy. This one is called Crafted By. Just a fun little Halloween. I'm thinking this might have been a special order. You've got these cute little witches in here. And one of them is doing little almost look like she's crafting but she's you know crafting her little brews but we do have a crafted buy in here um best witches halloween greetings i'm under your spell and a spooky hello um it possibly could have a die i will look that up and see if it does Next one we've got here, this one is a special order. Um, I had somebody ask for one of the older Pink and Main monthly stamps. Now, now they're doing mugs. Last year, they did all these cute little dachshunds. Um, and I had a gal see our sample, which actually was right here with our scallops, and she loved it, and so she asked if I would put one on the next order. So this one here is spoken for, but please know we can go back and get any of those. They're still available. So this is the April Pup and Die. And this one here sold out right away on the last live. I've got two great samples with this set. This set here is called Chili Treats. So you've got all these fun, I do love that little snowman is he not adorable and look at the little elf or is it a deer or could it be both because it's got the fun little ears on it and then here's one sample and then the other sample here is going to be using the next eye i'm going to be showing you as well but miss linda made this one so it's got the cute little santa there and the waffle waffle cup so again that set is called chili treats Chili Treats does have a die set that it goes with. And then our samples then for our last set that came in, this is a brand new gift card holder and it's called Gift Card Holder Dies. Go. And so Linda made us two different samples with those. This one here is again using that Chili Treats. It's just a fun little gift card. And then this one she put on the front of a card. <clears throat> and then she also used some of the fun little dies, the for you and the little tag that comes with this one. Oh, Paula Libby says the mouse set does have a die available. Yes, it does. I just, I guess I did not get it in. So there's that cute little set too. Now, Linda, as she was playing around with it, I forget which one it was, but if you cut it out twice, oh, this one here, okay, it will um, make, you can use this two different ways. So you can use it one way to add the shadow of a different color onto your bow or just layer up the bow if you want to do color on color. And then the other one will give you the bottom bows right there. So that is super fun as well. And that is our little pink and main order. Like I said, nothing too crazy big, just um, getting in restocks from when we did our last live with them. Everything we sold out of, I wanted to get those in ASAP for you guys. And that was even before they had released um, the October line. So, whew. So, all right. Well, I think that is it for today, crafty friends. Um, speaking of pink and main, so they do have their October release out. So I will be ordering October very, very soon. Cannot wait for that. Um, again, probably later this week, maybe this weekend after retreat if I get time or next Monday. But the October release from Pink and Main will be in stock. Um, what am I working on this week? Well, let's see here. Um, I had to drive by both exits today and could not stop. GPS and the company cars are bad. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry. I, if, if you know, we had, um, if I had more time, I could have just met you, you know, down by the interstate with your stuff. We could, we could have done a little drive by, um, drop off. Uh, but this week, what am I working on? So I did place waffle flour. Um, so I got that ordered last week for you guys. I am working on a dare to be artsy 
order. So if there's anything you need from Dare to Be Artsy, please get that to me ASAP. Um, I would like to place that, um, I like to place it tomorrow or tonight because we are using, oh my gosh. So it took me like forever to figure out how, and I just kept posting them over and over again. But um, so technology and so social media, there's lots of bells and whistles and I'm still learning them. But Rita sent me two videos of her cards that she is doing for our coloring and cards class in October. She is using a Dare to Be Artsy stamp set. Um, that's this little groundhog. He is so stinking cute. So she's using that and she's done two different interactive dies with him. So I did like a reel, I did YouTube videos. I was just trying to figure out <clears throat> how to get them both together. So anywhere on Facebook today, you'll probably find like five or six different ways that you can check those cards out, but check them out. They are so cute and you're gonna get that stamp set in class. So I need to get in more. Um, so I will be doing that dare to be artsy order so I can get those in. So that'll be one thing I will be working on this week as well. And then what else am I working on this week other, other than the retreat? So I, I know for sure that order, um, I placed a little lawn fawn order today to get a couple special orders in um, and restock on a couple things that I know are back in stock. Um, and what else? So yes, I don't know, but I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be lots. Um, what came in today? Today we got in paper rose, so I'll be working on that. And I've got two warehouse orders up there waiting on me. So I'll be working on those as well for you guys. So all kinds of fun, fun stuff going on this week and next week. So until next time, friends, I'm Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today and checking out what is new. Um, I will be back on here tomorrow showing you more great things that will be new and um, fun for you guys to check out as well. Like I said, I'm moseying on up here just to see if there's anybody else. Um, oh, contain your crafts. Oh, scrap easels are here. Yay. I always try and get those back in stock when we do our retreats because whenever you're sitting there for a long time, you get that neck and back fatigue. Scrap and easels are amazing. Ooh, ooh. So my contain your crafts order is here. That's exciting. I was so hoping it would get here before the retreat. So I've got that to show you guys this week too. So, oh my gosh, so many good things coming up. Um, check your emails. I've got a couple different emails going out as well. Um, I've got one email that I'll be sending out with our um, air um, the evergreen season classes going on. If you are not in that, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I almost, I mean, my cards are cute, but holy cow, some of these store owners, they brought it for their, for their, um, projects they did this year. Um, I, I'm, I'm very proud of my cute little cards that I did, but dang, I mean, they would have, you know, if we were in a beauty contest, they would have been like, I don't know, um, you know, Miss Congeniality or something like that, because some of these are amazing. So I'll be sending out another email about those kits, and then I'll be showing you some of the great projects that you can find um, on that private Facebook group whenever you get that bundle deal. So, all right, anybody. Whew. All right, until next time, again, I'm Hannah the Doodlebug, Jasper, Indiana. You can always shop us online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, Lori is on there. She said there's been some really awesome projects. Linda wants to know if I will have extra easels. Yes, I've I got in like I think eight, eight doubles and three singles. The singles are really nice as well too. So uh, when will you order pink and main again? It'll be probably about a week or so. So if you've got things that you want, Paula, definitely let me know. But it'll I don't think I will get to it this week um, with the retreat going on because really I'm only in the store um, today and tomorrow. Wednesday I'm here, but Wednesday is a packing day. Um, and so I know I won't get anything done. And then the retreat starts Thursday this time. So I've got to set up on Thursday. So I probably won't order until next week. And I think, I think I got everybody um, answered then. So, all right, everybody, you have an amazing, crafty, blessed evening, and I will chat with you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.